We just finished creating a 3D hand at 30 Hands Learning for the very first time, and so we wanted to share this process with everyone. So the first step, of course, is to print out the 3D parts. Now, we didn't have a 3D printer here, so we got someone else to print it for us, and the process looks like this. <laughs> And here's the finished product. So once we received the 3D printed parts, we got started immediately. If you look at this picture carefully, you'd actually see that we were missing one tension pin, but we decided that we would go ahead anyway. The first step was relatively easy, which was to put together the fingers with the snap pins. We actually had to use a Swiss Army knife to scrape away some of the unclean parts so that we could put the snap pins through the hole. Right after that, we went through a similar process to join the fingers with the palm. And once we joined together the palm and the gauntlet, you can see the basic shape of the hand. Can you wiggle it? Next, we had to put in the tension cords, which is very challenging because you have to be very meticulous about this whole process. Here in this picture, you can see we're trying to burn the ends of the flexible elastic cord so that the ends won't fray as we pull it through the hole. As you can see, we had to tie many knots to secure the elastic cord to the hand, and we had to pull it through very tiny holes, so this whole process took a very long time. After tying up all the flexible elastic cords, we had to move on to the non-flexible nylon cords. These were slightly harder to deal with than the flexible cords just because they are very thin. With the cords secured, we moved on and inserted the gel fingertip grips. Then we cut up and inserted some firm foam padding and Velcro so that we could protect the user from being scraped by the harder 3D printed parts. To attach the Velcro, we had to poke a huge hole through it and secure it with screws. It was a quick and easy process. Finally, we went back to the non-flexible cords and tied it to the tensioner pins, one of which we are still missing, and attached these to the hand. This step took longer than expected to complete because it was tricky to adjust the tension with the screws. As you can see, we didn't cut off the excess cord yet, but here's essentially the finished product. Are you interested in getting involved as well? Well, there are a few ways to do so. The first way is to work with 30 Hands and we'll help you define the project and go through the process. You can also choose to collaborate with others to create a hand. So for example, if you have a 3D printer, you can print out the parts for other people without a printer so that they can assemble the hands. Finally, you can get your district to purchase 30 Hands Pro. 20% of the net proceeds will go towards helping schools create artificial hands. We hope you enjoyed this video, but more importantly, we hope you will join 30 Hands Learning in creating 3D hands for people in need.